Hey there guys. Today I'm working on a project for the goats and I need to straighten some pieces of old bent steel that I have. This is some of that old movie theater steel that I've used on quite a few projects in the past. And these pieces have been at the bottom of the pile because they are extra bent and bowed. And uh, basically what I'm gonna do today is show you a very crude and redneck way that I have bent steel in the past to straighten it and get it more in a usable condition and perhaps it will be interesting for you to see it and perhaps give you some ideas. Um, so I will show you the piece of steel right now and we'll see how straight I can get it. And then I'll tell you what I'm actually gonna be using it for at the end. So here's the piece of steel I'm hoping to bend today. This is some of the old movie theater steel you've seen me use in the past on several projects. Uh, most recently the goat project, the fencing, the goat barn, as well as some of my rain rider harvesting projects. This is three inch by three inch quarter inch thick steel angle so it is pretty heavy duty. And these were actually the pieces that served as the purlins that the movie screen um, was mounted to. And you can see it's got a real gentle bend if I step on it, you can see that bow is just like that. So what I'm gonna to try to do is use my truck, another piece of steel and a little topography in the ground to gently coerce it back into a straight shape so that I can use it on other projects. So this first little stage, I'm just putting it on some reasonably flat ground and kind of driving the ends into the ground so it's not gonna roll because this is angle. And now I'm gonna put this big heavy piece of two inch by eight inch by quarter inch thick steel tubing on it and drive my truck on it. And now I'm gonna get the bend just a little bit more by blocking up one of the sides. The other side I'm not gonna block up so that this angle doesn't wanna roll. And now we'll see if we made any progress. You see there's a little progress. I'm gonna do it probably one more time with the blocks. A little bit higher, and then I'm gonna take it to a little uh, cutout area near my shop and bend it where it's going past uh, straight and then hopefully it'll be closer to fully straight. And I'm gonna get this just a little closer to the right center of the bend. And we'll see what kind of progress we made. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna move it to a different location, bend it a little bit past uh, where straight would be, and it should be pretty close. So now I've got it positioned with one side up on the shop concrete and the other side just down in the dirt for a little stability. And the primary bend is in this area. So what I'm gonna do is drive on it a little bit where it bends it past straight here. I'll move this here and probably do this two or three times back and forth to kind of slowly coax it back in that straight and we will see what we have after that. Okay, so that was three times. I'm gonna take it off and kind of look and see how it's going. Oh, definitely better. I don't know if you can see, it's getting pretty close. I went a little bit too far on one side, but that's a real easy fix. Let me do it one more time. We'll see where we're at. call 
this little area just a little bit of an overcorrection. All right, so here is the finished product. You can see it is not perfect, but it is pretty close to perfect. All right, guys, well, that's gonna do it for the very crude and redneck way to bend steel using just a couple of things that you probably have on hand. But I do wanna make a couple of notes. Uh, first, there is a much more accurate, controllable, and safer way to bend steel, and that would be using an I-beam with a bottle jack and a couple of straps to secure the ends of the steel. And you would just use that bottle jack to, uh, you know, maybe put five or six pumps on it bend the steel to where you think it needs to be, let it off in a controlled fashion, and then if it needs to be bent just a little bit more, you'd do seven pumps or eight pumps. And that way you could really uh, just fine tune it. And I've done that in the past with my father-in-law, but I didn't have the I-beam and bottle jack, and I have used this method uh, for very crude straightening of metal. And I think it works out well, and it essentially is something everybody has access to if you have a vehicle or have access to a vehicle. and a chunk of <laughs> scrap steel. Um, as for what I am doing with that steel, uh, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but I think we've located a buck for our girl goats and I need to build a little bit of an enclosure uh, that is right next to their enclosure for the buck. And that's why the steel doesn't need to be perfect, just need to be roughly straight. And that's what I'm gonna do. So in the future, you will see uh, us picking up a nice little, uh, very burly buck goat if this deal ends up going through. He's uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, so anyway, um, that is pretty much it. Oh, uh, one thing uh, that the other point I wanted to make is that if you wanted to do this in a much more controlled or safer manner, you could put a couple little tape marks or marker marks on that piece of steel tubing that I was driving on. So maybe you would drive to say, you know, mark 20 and let it bend and then back the vehicle off and then you need to go a little bit more. You could have somebody watching drive it to mark 22 or 25 or something like that, just to where you can have a more methodical approach. Uh, but anyway, hopefully this was entertaining. I've done this, uh, I don't know, five or six times in the past and I figured it would just be an interesting little video that might help you guys out on something. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Hit the subscribe button for some more content and remember you can see my stuff on Rumble and Odyssey as well. And until then, I will see you guys next time.